Well, in this episode, in this week's episode of Grade the Vols Monday, I would have to give the Vols bye week a. I'm gonna give them a B plus. Struggled again in the running game against bye, but had really impressive passing numbers. Okay, so obviously we're not doing a grade this week, but we're gonna talk a little bit about them bull puppies. That's right. Two games in a row, we're fighting some Bulldogs. These Bulldogs, I'm going to have to guess, aren't quite as ferocious as the last ones we faced. But, as it would appear, watching this past Saturday's game, the Georgia Bulldogs may not be as ferocious as some thought. So, Tennessee has Mississippi State this weekend in Starkville. I guess this is supposed to be a hate week video. Uh, I have zero hate for Mississippi State. Get back. Yes. Hey, you wouldn't be a UT family. Yes. <laughs> just kidding. I just wanted to let you know the lights are on on your truck. Oh, it's running. I'm getting ready to leave. Thank oh, you, though. Okay, I'm... Oh, the car running wasn't your first clue, was it? So anyway, we've got Mississippi State this weekend in Starkville. The number 16 team in the country. Whoop-de-doo. And I have had discussions with a couple of people again already about whether or not Tennessee should be ranked if they win this game. Come on, folks. Moody Vol, I'm talking to you. Why are you guys worried about whether or not we're ranked? That should be, honestly, the last thing on a Tennessee fan's mind right now, is whether or not we are ranked. I've never really understood the fascination with being ranked. I want to get back to the days when we're talking about rankings, Sure, but we're talking about, damn, man, I wonder who's who's moving up and who's moving down in the top five this week. That's the rankings that I want to be concerned with. Let's suppose Tennessee does get ranked. Let's suppose this weekend Tennessee beats Mississippi State, which they are going to do. And quite handily, I might add, I'm thinking three touchdowns. And then next week they're ranked. What's your reward? You get Alabama. Now, of course, we're going to beat Alabama too. But my point is, most people on the planet think we're going to lose to Alabama. It's just a foregone conclusion. It has been since the summertime and beyond. So you kind of see my point about rankings. Let's win against Mississippi State, and then let's beat Alabama. Obviously, if we beat Alabama, we're going to be ranked. And then let's go to Columbia and stroke the Cox, and then talk about rankings. Because at this point, it's a moot point. Honestly, it really is. Back to the game. Mississippi State's defense really pose no threat to our offense. They've got a few good defensive linemen. I can't reel off names. I'm just telling you what I've heard. But I did notice that Troy, who I really know nothing about, threw for over 500 yards on Mississippi State, and we're talking about Troy here. I think we're good passing the ball this weekend. I really do. So yeah, I think we're in good shape passing the ball against them this weekend. Running the ball, our running game, I think, is better than a lot of people think. Our running game, I think, is better than a lot of Tennessee fans think. And I don't look for that to change this weekend. I think we should be able to have a good mix of run and pass this weekend. Sure, it's going to be a hostile crowd of, what, 45,000, 50,000, big deal. The only thing hostile about Starkville is those godforsaken cowbells. 
And honestly, the only people in Starkville that should be wearing cowbells are the cheerleaders. I thought noisemakers were against the rules in the SEC, but I guess Stark, Starkville gets an exempt. It's Starkville, okay? People just kind of... You kind of give those guys a pass because it's Starkville. I guess the NCAA and the SEC figures, you know what? These guys live in Starkville. They've got it bad enough. Let them have their stinking cowbells. So I'm not worried about the Mississippi State fighting Dan Mullins this weekend. What I am curious to see this weekend is has our defense made any improvements in this bye week? Mississippi State, it's a win. Go Vols.